Well, it is hump day, <laughs> and there are things women should know about health and hygiene when it comes to your wonder down under. But when in doubt, call the doctor. Is that what we're calling it now? I think that's I. <laughs> we have Jessica under. Shepherd, Dr. Jessica Shepherd, here with us, and we're talking about something interesting today. Things the wonder that, down under. Well, kind of, maybe <laughs> things that women should and should not wear that yes. affect your. Wonder down <laughs> under. <laughs> I've never said that. I'm going to start using that in the office. Yeah, yeah. maybe yeah. not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's get to it. Let's let's figure out what yeah. we're supposed to wear, what we're not supposed to wear. Okay. What's up first? We're going to play this game. We are going to go with bras. Okay. So we're talking about wearing this mm -hmm. overnight, all day into overnight. Should you wear it overnight or not? Not to wear. Not to wear. Not to wear, but why? Why would you think not to wear? So uncomfortable. <laughs> so for you, on, you know, you the just comfort don't like level. It, right? just don't like it. So it is um, a comfort thing. I, I think, I, I, I would say not to wear. I think it mainly comfort, but underwire bras too yeah. are, so I think, not good. There are some people who are a little bit heavier chested who actually do feel that support helps them. So it's not a bad thing to wear, but you should wear a soft cup and no underwire if you're going to wear something overnight. So the underwire and not can be bad for bra. your health? Well, it, it can be irritating. I've seen women come in with rashes and irritation because they're just wearing that bra all the time and that underwire really oh. can cause some chafing. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right, let's go to the next one. Panty liners. I hear this one a lot in the office. What do you think? To wear or not to wear? I think you can wear them. Overnight? Yeah. Oh. Uh, yes. Well, for all like day. daily or when you're menstruating? So kind of like at the tail end or some people, I'm telling you, wear it actually outside of that time frame. Yeah, I think you can wear them. You can, but with limitations. So your limitation should be no more than 8 or 12 hours looking at what type of panty liner you choose okay. and making sure you change that if you are having some type of menstruation more than usual. So you really don't want it to be saturated and you're wearing it for a long period of time. That can increase your risk of any type of like irritation or actually infections down there. Okay. Got it. So there changing you go. them. We've got to change them. Okay. All right. And Next one. Yeah. Tampons. Tampons, like all day or? Yeah, all day. <laughs> well, I think we well, gotta, gotta those change out. them. But how long? That's I don't the most know. important part. <laughs> She's Depending like, depending on what day 48. you're at in your cycle, I think like six hours. So eight is the recommendation that we have. Okay, eight. But the most important part actually with tampon use is using the appropriate absorbency for where you are in your cycle. Oh, because if you're on a them. light day and you're using a super, that's a bad thing. And then you're increasing your risk to having exposures to some of the chemicals that are in the tampon and some toxic shock syndrome, very rare, but that is related to the absorbency and where you are in your flow. I had a okay. friend who had that, it's real. It is real and we it's see scary. it and you can get very, very sick. So what are some of those symptoms? It. Symptoms, do you have like a fever, a rash? You can even be admitted to the hospital for IV antibiotics. It is real. Wow. Okay. Very rare, but when it happens, you will never forget. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, Female condoms. Uh, Female condoms? Yeah. Oh, wear those. Any wear kind those, of but condom how, is good. But how long? <laughs> how long should you be wearing them? I don't know. Can I tell you well, something embarrassing? Yeah, when I was in college, here, my here. mom sent me these, and I looked at them. I'd never seen one. I was like, you're what like, is this? You're like, who are these for? I'm yeah. like, this would go all the way through if I used it on the other gender. <laughs> oh, <right>? wow. <laughs> no, but when you use female condoms, I think they're such a great way to add to sexual relationships because then you, are, you know, take some of that responsibility if you're not on birth control or even if you are. Because, again, it's going to decrease your risk of sexually transmitted diseases. So they are not reusable. I think that's the most important part is that they're one-time use, similar to male condoms. And so when you're finished using them, make sure that you take them out and discard them. Again, in the garbage, not in the toilet. They clog, and okay. they're not good for the environment. Yes? That is good, good information. Know. Yes. Good All to know. right. All right. Now we're, we're like... Oh, we survived that. We yeah, survived we that. Did it. Down <laughs> under. We survived that doctor's visit with Dr. <laughs> Jessica. Okay. So we always love having you here with us. For more info about women health care, visit herviewpoint.com.